All right guys, so let's address the elephant in the room. I have my nerd goggles on because I'm really bad at taking out my contacts. And uh, so I had like a little ulcer on my eye and so I'm wearing my nerd goggles for the next few days. Anyway, let's get right into this week's episode of Friday Thrift Finds. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mika and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet, welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do also sell locally at my antique booth and I do sell on Depop though it's been a couple months since I last made a sale there. Anyway, this is yet another episode of my Friday Thrift Find series. I am filming this the day after Thanksgiving, the same day that it's going to go up. Um, I already mentioned the goggles thing. Um, this is the haul from my video from earlier this week where I had a day off and I went thrifting. Uh, my average cost of goods was $6.29. Um, so let's go through this. I have moved over to the side and I'm going to put up um, my listings here on this side so you guys can see what I'm listing things at on Poshmark. It's a little bit easier to show you guys the Poshmark listings versus the eBay listings. Um, so that's just easier for me when I am going through and editing. I did already sell two things. I sold the Chaco's boots. Um, they were missing insoles. I paid $7.99 for them at that second store that I went to and I took an offer of $40. Um, and then I also sold a pair of Athleta shorts. They were like the salutation stash pocket short five inch inseam and i sold those for twenty dollars on ebay i think those were like 6.29 or something before my 20 percent off um so yeah i'm happy with both of those sales that's 60 dollars in sales already um and they sold in a couple of days so let's get into what i still have um everything's been listed except for one item um, and i'll just let you guys know um, when i get there so this first item is an ikea light it's like a little pink um, flower it is a plug-in light i actually found this same exact light at a savers um, semi-recently but it was missing the bulb so I couldn't test it out in the store um, this one does have a bulb in there I did test it it works everything's good um, I know people like to pick up Ikea things so I thought maybe I would try that and these um, I do have listed on eBay currently not on Poshmark but I'm probably going to pull these and just bring them straight to my antique booth um, they are missing there is one missing up here, you can't really tell, um, but these are vintage red shiny ball Christmas ornaments. So um, I think it just makes more sense to try and sell those locally. That way I don't have to worry about shipping them. Um, and since it's an incomplete set, I just figured that would be easiest. Next we have a bag. I think this is the only bag that I got and I'm pretty sure I showed this in the thrift with me. This is a pack safe bag. Um, I only know about this brand because I have looked into buying one at one point. Um, they are pretty expensive, but uh, this is exo mesh on the front, so it's slash proof. It has RFID blocking technology inside. This one is called the City Safe, I believe. I don't remember where the little tag is. It's right here. The City Safe 200 G2. Um, so they all have different names. This one's like a kind of like a messenger bag style minus the flap This is the one item I haven't listed yet because it does have a couple of stains um, And my first go round of trying to get them out didn't work out too well So I haven't listed it yet, but this is Tory Burch it was $3.79, I'm assuming because of the stains, so that's also kind of why I picked it up. Couldn't go wrong for that price. It is like a pretty cobalt blue color, and then it does have large logo buttons on it. So um, hopefully I can get the stains out. If not, I'll probably just list it a little bit lower as is. Next we have a pair of jeans. These are Levi's. 501s. I love picking up 501s and these are actually a men's. I looked up the style number and they are men's um, but it looks like a woman must have owned them because they crop them slightly uh, so they do have like a little raw hem button fly as all the 501s do and these are a size 34 
welcome clove to the video um so i did list these under women's um, as a size 34 no reason why a woman can't wear those even if they were intended for a man um, this i think i'm going to keep so this also hasn't been listed there's a couple other pieces that i'm keeping for myself that you won't see listings for but i will let you know when i come to them this is patagonia size large i don't know if this is the better sweater it is like a pretty oatmeal color um, i think this is also men's but i am pretty sure i'm going to keep this it does have a company brand on the sleeve um so i could sell it as is i could try and um take the brand out with like the little seam ripper um, but i think i'm just gonna keep it anyway and i don't care if the brand is on there this is also another personal buy this is a band crew neck this is sublime it's a little bit hard to see um, but it is tie-dye it just has the little sun logo on there um, i like listening to sublime i don't listen to them very often but i do enjoy them so that one is staying with me baby clove so in that second store i did pick up quite a bit of athleta i think i got like four or five pieces this is the first one i'm not going to show you all the tags because they're all pretty similar this is a newer athleta tag uh size i think that said small oh medium i lied this one is from holiday of 2019 so coming up on three years this is something called like i think the double cozy karma hoodie something like that it's a very nice red color for the upcoming holidays um, and it's like velour the whole thing is velour it's really nice feeling here is another piece of athleta this is a fleece pullover it's slightly cropped intentionally um, it does have kind of like a satin feel up here and then the little elastic cinch at the bottom this is another piece i'm debating keeping for myself it is chaser which is hit or miss for me size medium um, but it's leopard print it's like a lightweight leopard print pullover and your girl loves leopard print so possible keep uh, this is a pair of jeans from judy blue I love selling Judy Blue. I think I only have one pair left to sell and then I'm back to a 100% sell through rate. And these are a skinny jean, which I know not as desirable these days, but I love selling this brand. It does really well for me. This came from the second store. This is a new with tag Athleta bra. This is the advanced sprint bra. It's a size 40 double D. It retailed for $69. There she goes again. I just thought this was a nice pickup. Maybe someone will want this for a Christmas gift. Um, I did pick up a couple of new tags pieces, um, like that bra. This was from the first store though. This is Bowden new tags. It doesn't have the MSRP, but it is this white floral top. I think it's called the Nadine or the print is Nadine, something along those lines. It, I mean, pretty sure this is also a silk blend if i can find it yep viscose and silk these i know i showed in the thrift with me these are lululemon shorts i can't figure out which style these are um so i just listed them as is and these are a size six this was a first time find and it looked very interesting so i decided to look it up it's good run show den i i'm butchering that um made in bulgaria is what kind of made me look it up this is a size large um it's kind of like a lagging look style brand this has like a chevron print really like this so i don't know how much this will go for but we shall see Sorry guys, battery change as usual. So if I'm in a different spot slightly, I apologize. Um, one of these days I'll get my life together. This is Aloe Yoga. I only knew this later on because I spotted this finally at the bottom. As you can see here, it does have a couple small bleach marks. Um, it also didn't have a size. 
um, but I just really liked it. I love picking up aloe and it says trust the yoga on the front, slightly cropped. Love selling that brand. This is another new with tags, Desigual. Um, I think this is only the second time I've ever found this. This is a size small. I was able to find a stock photo for this. It's kind of got an asymmetrical neck, if you can see once I put the tag in. An asymmetrical neckline, fun graphic print. I'm pretty sure most Desigual, if not all, has graphics. This I did pay up for. I mentioned in that video, I think it was $16.99, um, but this is a more recent Lululemon scuba hoodie. It is a navy blue color thumb holes this is a size six um, and it does have the newer size dot with the um, letters and numbers around it so it's easier for me to find on lulu fanatics just a couple more pieces this is another athleta um, i'm i have a few of these actually this is a size medium in different colors they're very soft just like a cozy long sleeve pullover this one's kind of like a light orange coral color um, and they do look intentionally pilled if you guys can see that on camera um, this i was excited to find this is from the mountain i love picking up the mountain tees it had been a while since i last found one and this one's from 2001 so vintage and it has just a pretty Floral print, love the sunflowers. More Lululemon. This is one of these Swiftly Tech tanks. I just found another one of these today, actually. Um, this one is a size four. Um, so if you didn't know, on the Swiftly Tech pieces, um, the size will be on the inside of the waistband. It also has like some little blurbs in there, but the size is right here, size four. This was an interesting find. Um, this is a sleeve for a um, gallon jug from Hydro Jug. Um, and this is a limited edition sleeve. It's brand new, no one's ever used this for anything. Um, and apparently um, this version is called Tropical leaves tropic leaves something like that um this one sold out within nine minutes when it was released and it's from 2020 so it's two years old and hard to find so i could only find three listed on ebay and the lowest price was 75 dollars um i couldn't find any comps within the last three months and i haven't looked at terapeak yet so i just listed it right now for i think 60 on eBay, something like that. I wanted to undercut what was currently listed, um, but I do still wanna do some research on Terapeak um, to kind of figure out if and when it has been sold in the last year and what it's sold for. But I was definitely a little bit surprised by that find. And then last but not least, we have a pair of Hoka's. I love selling Hoka's. These are the Challenge ATR5. Hoka One One is the actual full brand name, and these I think are a size eight and a half. I did try them on because I'm an eight and a half, nine, um, but they fit a little bit too snug for me, so these did go up for sale, but love the purple color. So yeah, $6.29 average cost of goods for everything that I showed you guys, and that's all I have for this video, so thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any experience with some of these items, um, especially let me know if you have ever sold anything from Hydro Drug before. I would love to hear about that. Um, otherwise, let me know what your favorite item was down below. Um, I always like to interact with you guys on YouTube in comments, all that fun stuff. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet. And and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.